Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be predicting some FC25 prices for these players that we will soon be getting in our ultimate teams in just a couple of days. This is one of my favorite videos to make every single year as we get into the new ultimate team because it's always interesting to look at player upgrades, downgrades, stat changes, playstyle changes, and club changes and think about how that's going to impact the value of these players on the market. These prices we're going to be talking about today, guys, with prices to look for in the first couple weeks of the game, maybe the first month for some of these higher rated cards, because of course, prices change a lot. Some of these players we're going to care about for a couple weeks. And then after that, we're not going to care that much. Maybe for evolutions, we still will for some of the lower rated cards, but we're going to go through that all today, guys. And if you're saving or thinking about buying a card in a future starter team or later on down the line, this is going to be a helpful video to help you maybe price out and think about some of the reasons why a player might cost a lot or a little. So if you're excited for today, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's dive right in from the top and start with the most expensive card, gold card, going to be in FC 25. Kylian Mbappe. Guys, I actually went back to last year in FC24. I didn't realize how much Mbappe went up last year. He started the year at 2.2 million coins. Of course, everybody gets a lot more coins. They can start to afford a card like this as the year goes on. He peaked at 3.4 million for a PSG 91 Mbappe. In FIFA 23, he never went higher than like 1.5 million coins, I believe, for Mbappe, right? Crazy price increase last year in 24, but that's because he's by far the best card in the game. And it's going to increase this year, in my opinion, too, guys, because he is Madrid. That's huge, right? The Madrid links this year are all going to be more expensive for the insane team that they have now and all the insane players in Ultimate Team that people are going to want to get to surround those players like Mbappe if you can afford this card. You're going to be able to use this card until like March, maybe even past that. If you're able to pack this guy or buy him, he's going to be crazy expensive and crazy overpowered. Now, of course, when we're talking about a lot of these prices, it's going to come down to pack weight as well. But a 91 rated Mbappe, he's always so tough to pack. 4 million coins this year is where I see this card. And as we talk about these prices too, like I just mentioned, there's going to be some fluctuation because prices are never the same and they're never just flatlining, right? They're always moving all over the place. Like this VVD last year started at 180, went to 313,000 coins. So we'd say like maybe a middle price for him was two to 250K is kind of where he held his range in the early stages of the game. But a VVD was the most used card in FC24. And one thing to always look for heading into a new game is familiarity people used this card last year they know he's op he's going to be the best gold center back in the game once again maybe the best overall once again ahead of some of those icons i think vvd is going to be more expensive this year guys i have 400 000 coins for this card because remember back in like the older was it fifa 22 or 23 that Vinny jr was so crazy op the next year he was so expensive to start off the year because everybody remembered how good he was last year and they went running to his card that's going to happen with vvd now we got to talk about the cover boy of fc25 jude bellingham i promise we're going to get some starter players here really soon i know we're not all going to be able to afford these even very soon into the game right we're going to look at some cheaper players in just a second but a jude bellingham card if you're wanting to get this guy with his huge upgrade in fc25 he just keeps getting more expensive every year. Last year, we nailed his price target. I said in the video last year that he was going to be around 100 to 150K. He did dip a little below that. His lowest was 84K in the first month. He did go to as high as 150,000 coins, but he was right around 100K for that first month of time for an 86 rated with 75 shooting Jude Bellingham. And for this Jude Bellingham card, I thought, okay, he's got the Madrid links again this year. There's so much hype there. He's the star boy. So I went back and looked at a 89 rated Jude and I thought hmm this card might be more comparable to what the new gold is going to be this year even though it has a different play style plus and it was released later in the game this card in December was 670,000 coins this card was insane by the way and that's kind of that's not even as good as Jude Bellingham's gold card this year guys I've got this card since it's a gold maybe a little more packable in that 500 and 600,000 coin range he could be more than that. He could be 750,000 coins, but there's always something with Jude where you think he's going to be a super crazy high price maybe, and then he's just a little bit less. I don't know. He's higher rated, so he's going to be a lot more difficult to pack, but based off of how expensive this card was, I'm going to say the gold card is going to be in that range too in FC 25. Now let's move on to a couple really high tier players as well to end off this last beginning segment of prices. 
Bon Mati, one of the highest rated cards, the joint highest rated in the game. She had a really crazy card at the end of footies, and a lot of people really loved Bon Mati this year. Technical plus, very overpowered. She was only, I think, last year like 200k. Yeah, 200, 300,000 coins maximum price. She's going to be more expensive this year, 100%. Barca Lynx, I think she's going to jump up another 100,000 coins and be 400k. And we can't talk about Liga F without talking about Graham Hansen. Five star, five star. Last year, she was like 800k, 7 to 800k, and she was 400k on early access release. Huge investment opportunity this year with this card, too, if she has some sort of movement like last year. This guy, this card guys had so much hype last year in fc24 and now with a 5-5 she was used by pro players all the time i think she's going to be 1.2 million coins this year she's going to definitely be over a million this card is going to be so op even with trickster plus which is not the best she's going to be so overpowered now let's move on to some cheaper players that we can like think about in the next week here Oh, hey, might be able to afford this sort of player in the game and some starter team cards. We got to talk about Lamine Yamal. This guy is taking over the hype of world football at such a young age and so much hype. And he's got one of the highest rated cards to be a first ever version in Ultimate Team history. 81 rated Lamine Yamal. So many people are going to want him for evolutions. But even off the start, there's just going to be so much hype for people to buy this card and to use him because they've never used a version of Lamine Yamal before unless you've used like eFootball where he's in the game, right? So honestly, guys, I think he's going to end up being between 25 and 40K. He could be around 35 to 40,000 coins at his peaks just because there's going to be so much hype for people to use this card. He's going to drop off a lot after that, so be very, very careful. This is a card as well that I would say watch out if he's extinct we haven't had too many extinct cards in the last year at the start of fc24 there might be some price range issues this year with this card because there's so much hype if ea get it wrong he might be an insane investment if a price range uh, caps his price limit he could get a price range update and then jump up big and make a really good investment and snipe while he's extinct also got to talk about endrick he's going to be a lot cheaper than yamal because he's not usable straight off the bat i'm going to say around 10,000 to 15,000 for endrick but he's going to drop off really heavy straight after that another new addition with a new club is savio big upgrade for him guys the thing with savio that makes it interesting is since he's transferred to City, very meta, Prem Wingers always are expensive at the beginning of the game. Brazilian Prem Winger, he's got a four-star skills. The weak foot's not good. But this evolution, the first leaked evolution during the early access of FC25 has been leaked. It's called Intro to Stat Limits, which is again going to help us learn this new stat thing with evolutions and how evolutions have a new upgrade system this year he would fit this evolution guys he is um, of course max 82 rated he fits the shooting and the dribbling and even the skill moves he starts with his four four star skill so he should be able to fit this according to how we think we understand uh, the new requirements for evos that might make his card actually have a little bit more value we saw those cards like darwin nunez timo Werner, dan juma Ansu Fati at the beginning of last year with the first Evo that was dropped carry a little bit more value. If that's a card that fits an Evo and is very hype straight off the bat, that could be an item that sells for a little bit more. So I have 15K for him, but it could be 25, 30K, depending on how good that Evo looks, if he fits it, and if there's a lot of hype, if he's really good in a game. Now, some more starter squad players, not necessarily related to the evolution. Vandeman, all the talk in the world about this card, guys. Last year, Mickey Vandeman was 78 rated. Let me show you this. 85 pace, 78 rated. Yes, he was at Spurs. And he was 19, 20,000 coins for the first couple of days for starter squads. If he's an 82 now with 88 pace and arguably the third best Prem center back in this game, he is going to be probably 50,000. He's going to double in price and then some. I think there's so much hype for this card. He's going to be a little bit harder to pack. Of course, being a, li a little bit higher rated. Could it be another Furlan Nendi situation where he's 82 rated, but he seems impossible to pack? You never know. That's kind of the variable with the pack weight as always. But he's got to be so hyped this year. I'm saying 50K for Mickey Van De Ven. Another cheap starter center back. Cheap. We put it in quotes, right? He's not going to be 5K. He's not even going to be 10K. If Mickey Vandeman last year as a 78 was 25, 20,000 coins, I think this Todibo with the French links is also going to be 20K. Moving to the Premier League, that's a well-known name a lot of people have used in Ultimate Team for a while in the Prem French, and that's going to be a 20K card in my opinion. Now, let's move on to somebody who's got a lot of hype for starter teams. He's going to be expensive this year too. 
Brim Pong, I actually had to look at his price last year and I was a little surprised at his value last year, but I feel like Frim Pong got a lot more hype. Yeah, he was 28,000 coins and right around that 20K mark for a couple of days. He was obviously the best right back in the Bundesliga. And last year, having a team of the year card, I think added some more hype to this Frim Pong. I think he's going to be about 40,000 coins this year, maybe 50K, because those Leverkusen links are going to add some value. Now, we got to talk about some of these middle tier players. First off, Yikerez, one of the most hype strikers, IRL. And in this game, the links are not good, which is going to inhibit his price a little bit. If this card was in the Prem, he would probably be like almost 75, maybe 100. I don't know. Isak's going to be one that we compare to this card a lot. But anyways, with the links that it is here for Yikerez, with the left wing, with the striker, he's got a five-star weak foot. He doesn't have pl uh, play styles besides press proven, but he's got insane stats and insane hype IRL. I honestly think this card is going to be about 50K as well. Again, if he was Premier League, I could see him being 75 to 100K, but I think 84 rated, it's going to keep him on the market good enough, and people will probably not like the passing on this card. He's got 91 physical as well. I could be wrong here in saying 50 to 50 to 60K would be my range here. Um, he could be more. I think he's going to be around the 50 to 60K range. Now, let's take a break and look at an icon. Just for a quick second, let's dream that we pack Gareth Bale in the first week of the game, and we're like, oh my gosh, how much am I going to get for packing this card tradable? Well, first, you got to try him out for a few games. Absolutely. And when I was thinking about this Bale card, I had to compare him to Franck Ribéry because, not just because they're both wingers, but Franck Ribéry was a new icon last year, and he, in my opinion, has similarly cracked stats to Bale. Now, Ribéry's 5'5", and his stats are more evenly distributed, and he's got technical plus, but Gareth Bale, with that pace and that dribbling and with the crazy shooting, sure, he's got the three-star weak foot uh, and the four-star skills, and he does have rapid plus. He's got a lot of different alternate positions, which is going to be nice for squad building for wherever you put him in your team. This card last year for Ribery was 2 million coins, 1.8 to 2 mil. I don't know, guys, man. Gareth Bale is such a big name. He's 88 rated, so he's, again, lower rated like Frank Ribery in terms of icons. I think that 2, maybe 2.5 max, just because he's a brand new icon. I think Ribery will be a little bit cheaper this year, if I'm being honest, because there's always a little bit of that brand new icon hype. And this year, I think it's going to impact Bale. I think he's going to be north of 2 million coins. Again, it all depends on the pack weight, all depends on the market, like weak and link rewards and how much tradable coin value you can get out of packs. And especially out of those weak and link rewards is really going to determine these card prices and how much they rise over time and how much inflation is there. If there's a lot of tradable rewards that they give a lot of coins for weekend league, then we're going to see some of these cards go up even further because they're still not going to get packed that much, but people are going to want to buy them. So back to some of the mid-tier cards because that Gareth Bale, not a lot of us are going to be caring about that. At least we're going to be wishing not actually caring about buying it. But let's talk about middle-tier cards that you maybe think you're going to upgrade to in the second week of the game, but their prices may be falling by then, but you got to kind of know where they're going to go to probably so you can aim to and save up enough coins for those players. Nico Williams, big upgrade, La Liga, Rapid Plus, kind of like if you looked at the bail card that we just saw, kind of like a budget bail in a sense. He's got Rapid Plus, 93 pace with uh, 86 dribbling and a five-star weave of four-star skills. That's a really, really good card. Guys, I think with a lot of hype from him and a lot of pace, depending on how pace is, pace is always like meta and OP though. I think he might be 75 to 80K. Maybe he hits 100,000. Like, there's a lot of hype for Nico Williams, and pace is always king, let's be honest. So, if a Rafinha card last year can be as much as he was, which I think was like 40, 50K, could be a little bit high on that price there. I think this card could be 75,000 coins. We will have to see. But of course, he would drop off considerably soon after that. Another hype winger with a lot of pace, Federico Chiesa. Big move to the Prem, Liverpool but he lost his rapid play style plus. I think last year he was um, like 75,000 coins. I think this year he's still going to be around that range, maybe just a smidge lower. There's so many wingers in the Prem. Right wing, left wing, you have Luis Diaz on Liverpool as well. That's really comparable to this Chiesa card. Chiesa has a little bit more pace and he can play striker and he's 4-4. So I still think that 60 to 70,000 coin is going to be where he's at. And a lot of people are going to want to use him and Isak together because it's pace on pace. You got a five-star weak foot. You got four-star skills here as well. I think Isak's going to be more expensive than Yikeris though, just because it's Isak and he's going to have the links. 
And I know that uh, he has Finesse Shot and Rapid as well, which is going to give him a little bit of an edge over Yikerez. So for those two Swedish strikers, I think Isak's going to come in a little bit north of Yikerez at about 75 to 80,000 coins. He's kind of like that middle tier Prem striker that a lot of people are going to be aiming for. But again, like I mentioned, all these cards would be ones that would drop off in price pretty good amounts uh, before we get too far into the year. Got to talk about Sam Kerr here as well. This is an interesting point for a striker that had a playstyle plus change. Harry Kane would fit into this conversation as well. Before we talk about some more cards on the lower end, Sam Kerr is going to be more expensive this year than last year because she has a way better playstyle plus. Four star, four star, finesse plus changes everything. A couple of cards like Sophia Smith this year as well, if we're speaking on the women's side of things, she got a downgrade in terms of a play style plus, right? She had finesse. Now she's going to have first touch. I think that's going to actually impact her price in a negative way. Oh, sorry. She did not have finesse. I'm confusing her with Alex Morgan. Alex Morgan had finesse. She no longer has that. She has first touch. So um, I don't think that Sophia Smith's price is going to be impacted negatively. Alex Morgan's price is going to be impacted negatively. And again, question marks with her because she just retired. Is EA going to keep her in packs until the winter transfer window, just with the way the NWSL season works? Are we going to get an early end of an era for Morgan? That'd be a crazy card. But going back to the original card here with Sam Kerr, watch for her to be a little more expensive this year. If I had to put a number on her item, I would have to say last year she was, wow, 200K and then dropped off like mad. Probably still around two, like probably 300,000 coins. Finesse Plus is big, man. You guys know how crazy that is. And there was a lot of hype with it last year. There's going to be a lot of hype with it this year as well. Now, as we take a look at these last few ratings and these last few cards here, we're going to the cheaper tier starter squad area of prices. We're going to do a little bit of a rapid fire round to end off this video. There's so many cards we could look at, and we're going to try to look at a bunch right here. But we're going to go through as many as we can. So... Rapid fire round for starter teams. Mason Greenwood, a lot of controversy, but he's back on the game. He can play on the right, the left, or at striker. Really good stats. This card's going to have some crazy evos because if you see how kind of like level his stats are, 83 pace, 80 shooting, 75 pass, 81 dribble. Those are pretty even stats. That's going to help him for evolutions throughout the year. I think that's going to make him a little more valuable at certain times. He should probably be somewhere around 10,000 coins in that first weekend and then he'll drop off a lot bisek 15,000 coins for this card then gonna drop off but will be a menace for evos of course with so much hype matisse tell we got to talk about the two Bayern upgrades this year. Matisse Tell and, well, I guess transfer, Olise. 82 rated for Olise, but he's got a two-star weak foot. I think Olise is going to be about 25,000 coins. I think Matisse Tell is going to be around the same price, maybe just a little bit cheaper, maybe like 20K because he's lower rated. But his stats look way better, and he's got four-star, four-star on this Matisse Tell card. So... You know, evolutions are going to be really important here for him. But watch out for those guys early game and starter squads. Of course, for all of these starter type players, they will drop off a good amount. Kadioglu, got to mention this card because there's so many people wanting him for starter teams. He might be 10, 15K the first weekend. That's when you're going to want to sell. Like we talked about in the keep or sell video we just did on the channel. I'll link that up above if you want to check it out. These are the types of cards you want to sell right away because that's who everybody is going to be buying. And as I take a look at the Prem right back, maybe left back situation too, there's so many of these guys that I think are going to be 10, 15, 20K that are going to drop off really quick. Malo Gusto has a ton of hype. He might be 10K because of his pace. He's going to drop off. Um, Kayoglu, same thing. I actually think that w once you get past using somebody for your starter team like Gusto, you're going to upgrade to Diogo Dalo probably, maybe Pedro Poro. I think Poro and Dalo. Dalo looks like the second best Prem right back in this game. You've got Kyle Walker at number one. You could argue Trent, but the pace. I think Dalo is the second best. I think he might actually be 30 to 40K. And then because people use Gusto, they upgrade. They use Kadioglu, they upgrade. They're going to want to use this Dalo 4-4. Really good on the right and the left with a decent pace. Pedro Poro is going to be probably like 30,000 coins as well. And as we take a look, I'm going to go to left back really here for Premier League too because there's always so much hype for Premier League defenders. You've got Robertson who's solid. You've got Udogi. Udogi's probably going to be 20 
Nah, he's going to be more than that. He's going to be like 30, probably 40,000 coins as well. Just like Dalo, because what a card with pace. Like, what an item. He had a really good future stars this past year with the evolution. He had a footies card as well. There's a lot of hype for him. Links to Vandeven, who a lot of people were going to use. So on the left back situation, you know, Anthony Robinson for a starter, he's probably going to be 7 to 10K and then drop. Kadioglu, maybe 15 to 20 and then drop. You're really going to Udogi after that. And then Udogi is going to be a card. If you're using a Prem left back, you're going to have to use him until you get a promo item because Robertson, not an upgrade. Gavardiol, Ake, really not upgrades if you need a left back with some pace down the side of your defense. So really interesting there to look at those cards. couple more in the rapid fire lightning round here. We've got Kolomani, downgrade in terms of the dribbling this year. He was like pretty expensive last year, if I remember correctly, like 70,000 coins. I've got the graph pulled up right here. Um, no, he was 48,000 coins. Sorry, last year he was 48K. I think he's probably going to be 30K this year. Sure, he's got 90 pace still, but he dropped in the dribbling. They did give him a slight upgrade in the shooting. But to be honest, League One is not looking very hype this year, guys. To be honest, it's not looking that good. There's not a lot of ceiling to upgrade into, and there's only some PSG cards there like Usman Dembele. So we're going to be very careful to call Amani, but he's going to be one of the better French strikers. And now we got to talk about Leo Messi, not just because of his gold card, which interesting conversation to have here really quickly. He doesn't have low, low work rates in this new game because of the new FCIQ system. The work rates are gone. So when in the past, Messi would be like last year undervalued and cheaper because nobody wants low, low work rates. This year, you might have a team of the week, but Messi straight off the bat who doesn't get hampered by that, has the technical plus, has the great stats, sure a little bit low on the pace, but a great center attacking mid if you can play that position. This card might start as an informant game, which makes this one more expensive. I'm pretty sure Messi last year was like 100,000 coins. Can we get a double check on that? He was 90 rated with technical plus, and he was, um yeah, high 100K range. So like 250, dropped down to 180, 190 in that first couple of days. I think he might be the same price maybe start a cheap i don't know man i know we got a downgrade but i still i could see him being the same price this year even with the downgrade because of the way the fc iq works i think people look at this card and say i can actually use messy and last year you looked at this and you were like yeah sure it's messy but he's low low which was really really noticeable in game this year you don't have that so i'm really interested to see how that works now if messi gets it in for him this card's going to be like Five, six, seven hundred. It's going to be expensive, very expensive for the dynamic image, for the stat boost that they will give him, for the aura, all the people that just chase Messi every single year. One is maybe his last first gold card. We'll see. Like I don't want to say that and speed into existence, but we're getting we're getting down there for the number of years that we have left to use Messi in the start of the game to chase after um, one of his gold cards. So. This card's going to be expensive if he does get a team in the week one. That's some news that we'll be looking forward to very soon. And then just going down through this popular page really fast, I want to just rapid fire even quickly some more prices for starter team players. Malin, 15 to 20, actually 20, 25K for the hype that he had with Evos last year. A guy like this, Rudder, will probably sell for like 5K because he's five star, five star. Talisco might be five to 10,000 coins early on, then dropping Alvarez. Kind of similar to Isak, but he should be cheaper because he's not Prem, but he has press proven pl uh, plus. I'm going to say Alvarez is somewhere around like 50 to 60K. Loftus Cheek, 20 to 25. Dumornay should be about 5 to 10K, maybe about 10. Soboslai, 15 to 20. Uh, Leroy Sané, probably 20 to 25. The weak foot's a big problem there for him. Barcola, maybe 10K straight away. Pulisic, Pulisic might be 20, 30. Maybe 40k, man. His card looks really, really good. He looks cracked, but he's going to be a budget uh, starter at the beginning of the game. And we'll end with this. Phil Foden. Last year, this card was cheap. This year, I honestly think this is one of the best center attacking mids in the game. I think Phil Foden might be 200, 250,000 coins. Technical plus is no joke. Unique body type is no joke. The weak foot is the only issue with this card but you're talking prem you're talking the english links man city i'm saying 200 250k for this phil foden now if i missed any players which i'm sure i did because there's so many players to cover drop them down below in the comments we're going to be looking at prices all week on stream as we lead up to the start it's almost here of ft25 so if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it comment down below any player prices you would like to know and we'll get those on the twitch streams this week and of course subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything related to ft25 it's been nate the account. See you guys in the stream today. Peace. Out.